Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this new video of Open Hardware Algeria which is part of the series dedicated to the use of GPS modules in open source hardware prototypes. This video will show you our connected GPS tracker project using GPS technology. This video will be the first in a series that will explain step by step the component of our tracker. For this first video of the series, we will present the hardware components that form our device, followed by a test of our device. The next video will be cover the MQTT protocol used by the Arduino program, as well as the client of our tracker on our PC. A third video will cover and explain uh, the program of the Arduino and the program on our PC. For the purposes of this video, we have set ourselves a number of goals, which are The device must be based on Arduino Uno. The assembly must be simple. The program must use standard and easy to use libraries. First, we have our Arduino Uno. In second position, we have the GPS shield. The mission of this shield is to communicate our position using GPS technology. The third component is a SIM28 a GPS module. And finally, we use a groove shield to, to simplify the connection of SIM28 GPS module. I wish to point out that this list is only an example of material combination for our assembly and it's not at all restrictive. If you want to change this list, just check your component with the libraries that used our program and will be discussed in our third video of the series. We are now going to see how to mount our prototype tracker. We start by mounting the child group on the Arduino. Followed by the cable of connection which connect the connector D2 on the group and which will serve to connect the GPS module to the SIM 28. Then we have to connect the GPRS shield. And finally, connect the GPS module SIM28. And voila, our prototype is done. Now, let's take a look at how our tracker works during a short drive. Now you can see our prototype connected to a power bank. We must start the SIM 900, the main component of the GPRS shield. You can see the LED blink fast that indicates the initialization of our prototype. Now the LED blink becomes slower that indicates that our prototype are ready to use. on the side of the client tracker on the PC. We have to launch the program 
OHA tracker in its version 0.01. It is necessary to click on File, then on Connection, to connect to the broker MQTT. Do not worry, we will speak about the protocol MQTT in our next video. On this project, we will choose the free broker of the site HiveMQ.com. Then we choose the communication port. And here we are connected with an ID OHA. After we receive the data from our tracker, the tracker client display them on a map. Our tracker is represented by this blue dot that move in the city. That's the end of this first video on our open source hardware and software tracker project. In the next video, we will talk about the MQTT protocol in detail. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to hear about this project and not miss our next publication. Give us the, your opinion on this project expressed in the comment of this video or using our social network. And to finish, Salam!